Hi guys, uh, this is Raj. Um, today we are going to see the Open VPN Access Server in AWS. So we we go to the AWS Marketplace and search Open VPN. Okay, the first hit you could see the Open VPN Access Server. The free trial eligible so uh, Amazon provided a free trial eligible for this uh, image and uh, you should bring your own license in order to use this to before the subscribing to the product but I think we can test this image right away so select this image and you can have some details for the instant type and the costing details okay so continue and ju just don't forget to select this free tire lgt2.micro so this instance type is f is free tire eligible in in no more uh, billing for this it covers with the free free hours okay guys next i already created a vpc uh, I'm just selecting the, my custom VPC. You can also select the default VPC if you want. I'm just enabling the auto ASEAN public IP in in, in order to, uh, you know, uh, take the server in in the NDNR. Next, I'm leaving as it is. I don't want any additional adding, any additional modding in this case. Oh, tag is very important, guys. You should name each and every server to for identification this is very very important okay next so by default you know uh, the open VPN access server itself created a security group a default security group allowing the SSH and allowing HTTPS like in this case I'm just allowing all ports I have already uh, created a security group called Prod. I'm just following the all traffic. You can see that's so you could, you could have a good warning. Prod is very open to the world. This is a security warning uh, by AWS, but it is not very recommended actually uh, for demonstration purpose. I'm just creating the allowing the all ports. So guys, you should very very uh, you know uh, specific to the ports what need to be open and what need not to be open. Okay. So I'm just launching this. I have already um, existing tab open VPN. So I'm just selecting the existing keypad and launch instance. So the launching begins. So guys, I'm just pausing this video for um, the open VPN access server to be launched it's right now in the pending state i think it's very quick um so i'm just going to pass the video for a while okay guys now the uh, the open access vpn server is up and running right away okay we can we can access it now and so guys one thing we have to know that when we extracting the you know the pim file to authenticate the VPN open VPN access server, we need to convert it to the PPK file through the PuttyGen, the software called PuttyGen. This software can has ability to convert the PIM file to the PPK file. So we can go ahead and log in. I'll show you that how to import the PPK file. Just got to paste and uh, go to SSH and authentication and browse and go to desktop and uh, open PPK file like this. so this window is a key fingerprint from the server you should give S and the username please note it guys it's not a root open VPN 
AS. Just enter, you will successfully authenticate. Now the, the open EPIN software is asking some prerequisites to having the you know agreement. I'm giving S enter. I'm giving enter default. And also I'm giving enter for the default. It's asking for the port for the admin web console, the 943, yes. And for the open VPN daemon is yes. No. I'm not doing any DNS traffic routing. No. Yes. Yes. Yo, this do you wish to log in the admin you as open VPN? No, I'm I'm giving no. I'm just want to create a new uh, VPN user. Just going. Uh, specify the username for the existing user for the new user record. I'm just giving open. No, no. VPN admin. And yes, it's asking for the password. I'm just giving one, two, three, four, five. Yes. One, two, three, four, five. It's asking for the license key. I'm just, uh, I will specify it later. Yes. So the configuration is over, guys. It's now configuring the uh, the VPN. So the configuration is over. You're gonna see the like uh, the admin UI. So we should copy this. Uh, Copy and just go to. So we should proceed. Okay. Please remember, guys, we have already created a username. We can log in into that. One, two, three, four, five. So agree. See, we have two devices. Uh, we can use it, this VPN in the two devices. So we should not look anything into this, um, you know, uh, in, in this VPN, and we should note one thing. Server network settings. this this interface so this interface is recorrect so, so we can you know uh, that's it and other thing is we should download the client so the client URL is presented over there we should copy this uh, control C and enter The same the same username and password guys. VPN admin one two three four five. Just click to connect the sorry download the client. The client is getting downloaded. You could see that. I'm just opening this client.
I'm just muting this video for a while to the VPN client to be installed. So, so it's asking for a low VPN connection to the using unverified profiles. So just give yes. So it's assigning that. So see, now see the status. You are now connected to the fifty one dot ninety one dot two five four to this IP address. Okay. So the traffic uh, notification also available in the web console. Uh, you can also close this, you know, um, window, with just a status. But the real connection is what happening here, guys. You can open, uh, see the disconnect and connect it again. It's it's now already connected actually. Um, so to test this functionality, I have already a. Uh, Windows Server in my uh, see Windows Server. It is not associated with any public IP. You can ping the public IP here to test this functionality. So ping. See guys. I'm just pinging the private IP over here is pinging. I'm also can take uh, RTP session of the, this Windows server using the private IP. Um, I'm gonna use, mm -mm -mm. first I'm gonna get the password. I'm just gonna choose win, I don't know where I, the key pair. Win. Yeah. Win. yeah, I got it. So decrypt the password. So now the password is available. So I'm going to do RDP session. Uh, I'm just pasting the public IP, private IP. I'm just going. See guys, I'm just taking the this Windows Server in my using the private IP. This means I successfully connected to the AWS network. I mean the private network, so I can access all the you know address range uh, within the VPC privately. This is how you can use your uh, you know, AWS um, private uh, network connected to our uh, laptop. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any doubt, you can ask me in the comment. Thank you. Bye bye.